Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about the new update and especially about the new commander weapon system which was such a pleasant surprise for me. First of all, let's see the update notice. So we've got three major updates, the weapon system, the awakening of Simon and the improvements and changes in Alliance Conquest. I'm not going to awake Simon for now because I don't have him gold. And we'll take a quick look to Alliance Conquest changes, which we'll have to taste first in the coming matches. Okay, so the first interesting change we see is the Individual League, which we didn't have before. So, as per my understanding, if your Alliance has ended in Super League last season or was promoted to Super League, and you're going to play in A League, you will be getting a debuff on all your troops base stats of attack, health and defense of 20%. The debuff increases to 40% if you play in B League. Okay, so that's interesting. That means you'd have to stick to your league if you don't want to get that debuff. Okay, so two new buildings are showing on the map, which in my opinion can decide the victory and let's see why. Le your alliance won't get any points for occupying first, but you will get 100 points for every reinforcement. What does that mean? It means that if you send 30 reinforcements, that'd be 3000 points per minute. And the trick is that these buildings are opening just 15 minutes before the end of the match. And the points you could get are tapped to 20,000. I see no further changes in the rules and descriptions, but we do have two new buttons on the main page of the event. Individual, which gives the information about personal debuffs when playing in lower league than the one your alliance ended on last season, and Stratagem. Now this option is another really interesting improvement. These stratagems look to me like the weather UC buffs, with the difference being that you can choose which ones to use and that you can use three of them. Seems like there are two kinds of stratagems, which are bonuses in fact, active ones and passive ones. The active ones you can activate, as the name says, for three minutes and have a five minutes cooldown. In order to activate them, you will use energy diamonds. Energy diamonds, uh, we don't have any information as yet. We'll have to see how they work in the first match. Seems that you can store three energy diamonds at the same time and that it generates during the match. Okay, so the passive ones don't use anything and you can choose them before the match starts. We've got as active um, marching speed and an increase on rally size of 300,000 troops for 3 minutes. And as the passive, we've got total attack of 40%, increase the troop counter ratio by 10, reduce the troop counter ratio, ratio by 15, and increase the healing speed by 40%. Now, this one is a pretty bonus to have, especially when you're facing a strong opponent. I think we've covered most of the Alliance Conquest updates, so let's see now what the Commander Weapon System is all about. We get a Weapon Carnival, where by doing quests, you get a total of 10 purple chests and a red of weapon chest. As the web update description says, you can get these chests in drops in the fiery crystal mines as well and you can also buy them from that shop. Included in the, this drop in the fiery crystal mines is a red old weapon for Chris so I think infantry players will be very happy if it drops for them. Now let's see how this weapon system works. As some have more luck than others when talking about random drops, you will see weapons of all kinds, from red to green. There aren't any grey ones, as the chest info says, from uncommon to legendary. 
the best I've had so far was this one, a legendary axe for infantry, which came as a present for me as I was looking to increase my infantry. As you can see, the weapon can be upgraded using the same kind of weapon and you can reforge it in order to get different random bonuses than the ones that it has. We will have to wait for those reforged weapon ores now. So in the meantime, we can only increase them. Looks like that there aren't any weapons for bows, but we do get bow reductions as random bonuses. The legendary ones will give a 20% attack, the epic ones a 14%, the rare ones 10% and the uncommon only 6%. The good thing about the increase of weapons is that even if you had bad luck on the drop and only got greens, you can use them to upgrade another green one for up to 4 star. I'm going to see which one I can increase. Okay, so this one. You need two weapons of the same kind to reach a star. So in this case, for spear attack, I need two books of spear attack. I don't have them, so I'm going to move on to cab attack, which I do have. As you can see, for one star increase, you get an additional 0.9% bonus. These new bonuses will show up in your battle report as commander bonus and you can also see them when looking at the commanders in the same report. Okay, so this update is indeed a really good one and with the new weapon commander system everyone can up their stats, free to play or pay to win players. Thanks everyone for watching, we will see or hear each other next time, bye!